Frequency Response Analysis, or FRA, is a powerful tool for detecting and diagnosing the electrical and mechanical integrity of a power transformer's windings and core. Omicron's FRA device is called the Frenalyzer. In this video, its software will be used to test a transformer, analyze and assess the results, and show the database capabilities of the software. In this example, a three-phase 60MVA transformer is to be tested. The transformer has not yet been entered into the system, so this is the first task. Initially, the transformer's serial number is entered, and then its data. Which traces ought to be measured? The software helps to answer this question by offering recommendations for each set of traces. In this example, the Omicron recommendations are used. The software can guide the user with connecting the measurement leads to the correct terminals by displaying the corresponding wiring for each of those traces. Since the Franalyzer uses Sweep FRA, the appropriate sweep settings should be selected. The software guides the user with predefined sweep profiles. As the default, an advanced sweep profile is used. The Franalyzer can record traces in a wide dynamic range of more than 120 dB, thanks to its advanced noise suppression algorithms. To achieve this, the receiver bandwidth and the input attenuator are adapted automatically. Conventionally, sampling of points is carried out using either linear or logarithmic sweep modes. However, information relevant to FRA is distributed neither linearly nor logarithmically along the spectrum, with certain frequency ranges holding more of the most relevant information than others. The Omicron sweep profile distributes measurement points intelligently and uses more samples where the most diagnostic information is present. Thus, the sensitivity of the measurements rises and failure detection capabilities are enhanced compared to conventional sweep modes without resulting in a slower sweep. Of course, users can also define their own sweep modes. Before the measurement is started, a few details need to be checked which are specific to each trace and are then saved together with that trace. Since documenting the measurement is key to understanding the results, the software allows comments to be made about the measurement conditions. Here the terminals are identified with the same colors as those used on the measurement cable ends and the Franalyzer front panel connectors. This color code provides an easy way to connect the terminals correctly. Now the measurement is started. After all of the measurements have been completed, which will require some rewiring of the test setup, a start can be made on analyzing the traces. The preview function allows the traces to be viewed quickly from a large database. Detailed analysis of the measured traces is intuitive and easily carried out. Traces or groups of traces can be displayed or hidden as required. In addition to the frequency response of the voltage transfer function, the impedance and admittance response of the transformer can also be displayed. All representations can be displayed with logarithmic or linear scaling. Displaying the actual measurement points is also possible. Cursors can be used to examine the magnitude and phase quantities of the trace along the frequency spectrum. The numerical difference between two traces is also displayed. The properties of the chart area and the cursors can also be changed to allow them to be read more clearly. The Franalyzer allows the comparison of traces. For example, a measurement can be compared with a baseline measurement, a measurement from another winding, or a measurement from a sister transformer. Here, a comparison is made between two measurements taken before and after a transformer has been transported. Theoretically, the number of traces that can be compared is unlimited. 
The software also offers a quick basic assessment of traces based on statistical assessment algorithms, one of which is based on an official standard. In this example, a 30 MVA transformer is assessed. The first assessment is made by comparing two windings of the same transformer. The algorithm detects a deviation and assesses it as a deformation. The deviation can also be clearly seen by looking at the traces or through the magnitude difference function, which allows quick identification of the frequency ranges where the traces deviate most from each other. For further investigation, a comparison is made with a sister transformer of similar construction. In this case, the algorithm assesses the winding to be all right, because transformers of the same type mostly show good congruity for the investigated phases. The measurement results can be exported into a detailed report, which can be made in either PDF or Excel format. The report contains all of the relevant transformer data as well as the measurements and assessments. But what if the user needs to use data that was created by devices from other FRA vendors? The Franalyzer can import files from all major FRA equipment manufacturers. It can also import and export files in Seagray X FRA format, as published by the Seagray Working Group A226. Using this importing feature allows the user to administrate all traces in the Franalyzer, no matter where they originate from. The Omicron Franalyzer is a leader in the field of frequency response analysis, and users all over the world have benefited from its unique capabilities and ease of use.